Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is the Mover Mailbag. I hope you're all doing well. Hold on a second. Let me... There we go. Howdy, howdy. I've prepared a statement before Wombat joins us, and I would like to uh, read it at this time. I wish to apologize. I was wrong. Top Gun Maverick is 10 out of 10 and 5 stars or more. Dear Leader has made glorious film with no CGI or VFX or movie magic. All scenes were 100% real and realistic and personally flown by Tom Cruise. Thanks be to Tom. This movie is best movie with no flaws. Zoltan. End of speech. <clears throat> I state my regret. You couldn't have memorized that? I could not because I do not feel... And we're back. I don't know where Wombat is. Um, he'll be here in a minute, but... Are y'all happy now? Can can we please stop the hate mail and the, the angry comments from three-year-old videos about Top Gun Maverick for the love? I do plan on going and seeing it again on Sunday um, because I do think it probably is enjoyable. And I did enjoy it. See, that's the thing that gets me is... The review that Gonky and I made, actually a pretty good review. Uh, people get a little triggered when you say anything negative, which you'd never make it in a fighter squadron. Because even if you have the best sortie in the world, you're going to have a debrief. There's things that you can do better. There's goods and others. It's just the way it is. And I asked Gonky to do five things that he liked and five things that he hated. And I did the same thing. Or dislike, not just hate, but just didn't, you know, the things that could have been improved. And we did that. And then when I gave my 6.9 review, that was just the number. I mean, I'm a fighter pilot. Although I did get a comment like yesterday that said that fighter pilots don't use the number 6.9. And there's no way I was in both the Air Force and the Navy. So obviously I'm a fraud. So if that's what you guys think, that's cool. Um, my review is 6.9. And if 6.9 is bad, granted it's above average. And uh, it was going to be 6.9 no matter what. Bottom line is that movie's entertaining. Uh, I thought there's stuff that they could have worked on. I thought there's stuff that they could have done better. Not just as a fighter pilot, but as a writer. You know, I thought there were some things that, you know, it was just, okay, they could have done a better job. Not It doesn't mean it's bad. It just means there's stuff that could be improved. I'm going to go watch it again. It could change. I could like it more the, the second time. There could be stuff that, you know, that I didn't like the first time, but I'll like the second time. You know, I'm not saying it's not going to change. I'm just saying it's just an opinion. It's just a review. I don't know why people take this. They get so sensitive about, you know, you have to say the thing from their opinion. Come, It has to, you know, it has to come out of my mouth. Their opinion has to come out of my mouth. And that just doesn't, I mean, that's, that's not how this works. I'm, this is going to be my opinion. And if it doesn't jive with what everybody else thinks, then it doesn't jive with what everybody else thinks. Uh, I'm not here to, you know, try to go with what everybody else thinks or whatever. I'm going to have my opinion. And uh, I think 6.9 is a really good review and it wasn't going to change. It could have been a, a 12 out of 10 and I still would have given it a 6.9 because the review doesn't matter. The number doesn't matter. Um, you know, 6.9 is just a fighter pilot number. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a you know, 6.9 times the crosswind times the time of fall of the bomb. I mean, that's just numbers we use. It's, it's that, uh, it's just, just that constant. So, uh, Gonkies was an eight, which is a really good review, and he still got uh, flack for it. People were like, oh, they're sitting here, you know, crapping on this movie, uh, which is just nonsense. So today, um, that's <laughs> I just wanted to trigger some more people because I feel like, you know, what's a few thousand more uh, on a Thursday? But while we wait for old Gonky, oh, sorry, Gonky, Gonky's not coming back. Wombat's back. Uh, check this out. Uh, it, I don't know if you guys follow me on the Book of Faces. I've got the uh, the Sheriff's Office Facebook. So most of you know, and I know some people are, are going to be haters on this as well. Uh, I'm a reserve uh, deputy sheriff in my area, 
and I recently finished the field training program. Uh, so that allows me to be road certified, drive around solo, you know, work with a shift, do criminal patrol. Previously, I was mostly doing details and stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, they made a Facebook post on it, which I thought was pretty funny, which is really good. Oh, we don't want it that small, really good writing. And basically the PIO said, please join Rand Sheriff Randy Smith in congratulating deputy CW Lemoyne, AKA lawman Lamont. Yes. There was a hostile renaming <clears throat> in completing the FTO program with the reserve division, which is all volunteer. We promise we will get back to the lawman Lamont thing in a minute. Keep reading. As a reserve deputy, this is strictly a volunteer gig for this guy. Deputy Justin Nail was his FTO, which is a field training officer. And as you can see, he had to help to get through this photo op as well. It takes a village. Deputy Des Moines is sort of a jack of all trades. He's an Amazon best-selling author, fighter pilot, airline pilot, commercial helicopter pilot, and host of a YouTube channel with over 350,000 subscribers. Hey, that's you guys. That's you. He has flown the F-16 and Air Force Reserve F-18s and Navy Reserve, most recently T-38s. Uh, we know that's a lot of numbers. He's just a daggum good pilot. In addition to flying the friendly skies, he's written 11 novels. One of his fiction series got its start in St. Tammany Parish following the story of a fictional deputy in an edge-of-your-seat thriller called Absolute Vengeance. In fact, two days ago, <clears throat> Monday, whatever many days ago that was, I flew the R-44 over some of the sites where the book was set, and I'll share that with you guys as soon as I finish editing it. Circling back to the Lawman Lamont nickname, his FTO claims they could never remember Lemoyne, and they kept accidentally calling him Lamont. <clears throat> it just stuck, and when asked why he chose to become a reserve deputy, he stated, It's just fun volunteer work. Some people choose soup kitchens. I happen to like the pretty flashing lights, which is absolutely correct. That is true. When asked about what he does in his free time, he replied, This is very free right now. I'm on the clock that never runs. He has quite the sense of humor, and we kind of love that about old Lawman Lamont. Lawman Lamont has three rescue dogs. He brings the doggy daycare on the regular. He's a resident of Mandeville. You can see him patrolling the second district in his free time. You also see him flying the friendly skies. And here's the uh, the picture there. That's old me in front of the uh, Tahoe. I don't have that nice of a Tahoe. In fact, my Tahoe broke uh, a couple days ago. Power steering went out. Uh, and this is the second one. I don't know what to do with my hands. And then me with my FTO is a great, great dude. So. Uh, Lawman Lamont. Anyway, we've wasted enough time talking about me. Here's Wombat. Good of you to join us, Wombat. Uh, you know, I'm a busy guy. Busy guy. So, uh, no, I was actually, it, what did I miss? My statement of regret. You're going to have to be way more specific. I know you really well. I know you regret a lot of things. I regret nothing. <laughs> Perfect. That was a good that. setup. That was too easy. Uh, yeah, it was. It was well. So we were discussing, or I was talking to myself, and people were listening, because um, that's how this works when it's just me. That's every <laughs> um, fighter pilot in every situation. Yeah. <laughs> discussing some of the negative feedback received on my review with Gonky, which is why next week you and I will do a spoiler review. Yes, which will probably make even more people mad. Yes, um, that is going to be. Uh, so hold on there, Tim. Uh -oh. oh, I was What's talking about you. I was like, I ain't retired. It's you. He's talking about it you. Is You're me. retired. It is me. It is me. It is. Yeah. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I was just trying to explain after I made a statement that Top Gun Maverick is 100% real. All stunts were performed, you know, no VFX. By Tom Cruise, obviously. By Tom Cruise himself, all yes. the jets. Yes. What does it matter? It's a review. It's an opinion. Like people, I think there's this echo chamber with social media now, and it's political. It's in politics. It's in movie reviews. It's everything. It's like if Book you reviews. don't say, yeah, if you don't say exactly what. Oh, geez, hold on. Sorry, <laughs> I got it. I got. Huh? You start with Wombat's that. Every a, Wombat <laughs> drives a Mustang. Well, if you weren't late, uh, and he wrote Trees in Flight, which is a book. Uh, <laughs> So, Remember, I'm retired now. Let's get that disclaimer oh, up crap, because crap. Jesus, I'm all I'm all over the place, man. Let's just leave so, that up for the rest so of this frazzled live. By your probably, tardiness, <laughs> sorry. So frazzled. I was talking to one of our mutual friends, and then there's that, and uh, then there's that. So I anyway, was doing, I was doing research with one of our mutual friends. Yeah, well, I was sure, for book number yeah, two. Great. Okay, so. 
What do watching. you think about this? Is there, is there something to say? About your comment? I don't know, dude. Whatever. No, I'm dude, talking. it's a fiction yeah. movie. I, I just, and I, it's no different than, no, I mean, half the people that are on this chat aren't even going to remember this movie. They're it's angry. no different than firefighters watching Backdraft or yeah. Navy SEALs watching Navy SEALs. I mean, uh -huh. it's you can pick apart anything. It's fine. Like, don't. That, there's well, the, so many I, other I, things in so, the world to get worried about than some guy, no offense, on YouTube that doesn't agree with your opinions on a movie. Like, I don't know why people waste their time with the negativity. Like I, I that, that is the, the problem is there's so much like they sit there and they're like, you know, you, that was a good review, right? Gonky gave it an eight. I gave it a 6.9 was going to be a 6.9 no matter what. Regardless. Yeah. Regardless, which is above average, by the way. It is. Um, and people like focused, like I gave five good things first. Mm -hmm. But the five negative things, they were, that's what they honed in on. They're like, I can't believe, you know, that's a bad take. And it's like, Dude, I, okay, well, here's an idea. Go make your own YouTube channel. Tell the world your opinion. That's it. That's, that's the, the thing. Because it's just a, it's a subjective opinion. There is no right answer with a movie. There is no wrong answer with a movie. Um, well, and you said, because I watched it um, while you guys were filming that. You said repeatedly oh, yeah. that it was a good movie for entertainment purposes. It's a good movie. For, it is. It's very good for that. Mm -hmm. But you said that repeatedly. So what yeah. I don't understand with the negative comments, right? Like I could take a negative book review because it's like, well, it's that one person's opinion and that's the only avenue they have for going after me. And awesome and every one of those really negative ones you know like my first reactions like well you know hey send me a link to your book oh you don't have one i don't care but which is the wrong opinion to have like you should learn from negative and positive but when it comes to this like you were saying Just that it was a good shit. movie it was a yeah. good movie you kept saying that Yet there's these few people out there, the loud voices in the room, that just anchored in on the fact that you gave it some arbitrary score on a scale that doesn't matter. Which, by the uh, way, non-existent scale. There was no scale. There was no scale. It, it was so a scale of six point nine. Numbers. It, it could have been out of a one to five, but out nobody thinks it could have. Yeah, but could nobody have been out ever. Of seven. Nobody ever thinks about that. They focus on the negativity, and that's what drives me crazy. Life is too damn short, man. Stop focusing yeah. on the negativity. Well, if you don't like then, Mover, then don't listen to him. But more people there are do some, because he's funny and he has cool guests. So I. What yeah, it, well, well, there was some what absurdity in, in the comments too. Uh, one of them was that I'm a B type personality now because I didn't understand the I love scene. I didn't like that. Uh, I'm not Mover's a real a fighter lover. pilot. I know that for sure. Yeah, well, so I'm not a real a fighter pilot guy. because no fighter pilot uses 6.9. That was one of my favorites. Was that no fighter pilot would ever use 6.9? Um, How much fighter anyway, time did that guy have that made that comment? So you're uh, go. But you and I are gonna. Well, no, what even that? He was like, I worked on a jet. <laughs> wasn't a even like, that. Let's focus. Now there is something to comment on. Yeah. He well, wasn't so even that. you and I are gonna do a spoiler review, and we're gonna talk about some of the stuff and delve into it. And you know, I am leaving the door open that you know some of the negatives I had the first time might not be the negatives I have the second time because yeah, you watch back, a movie right? enough to right. I'm gonna go watch it again on Sunday, and I'll tell you one thing that might even change. Ooh. This is not a spoiler, but my hatred of the Dark Star stuff. I think it will. Might change. And here's why. I've been playing that X container that, that Microsoft <laughs> sent me, and it's got Microsoft, a Dark Star where scene. Are you at? Where I are you love at? that thing. I it is so much it fun to Xbox. play. I'm not I've been playing. No, you, it's an X container. No. It's an X container. For Air Force guys, it is. Anyway, yeah, uh, I would love one. I would love to play it. Low Earth, does the writer with the negative comments have the same fighter pilot firsthand experience? If not, then his or her parents is not. It doesn't matter. Like, doesn't I've had matter. some but of the comments were like, were like, Mover, you know, if you can do better, go make your own movie. And I responded, I'm like, set up the pitch meeting. Set up the pitch meeting or start funneling money into the Mover Media uh, movie yep. fund because yep. I gladly try. Yeah. You know, and, and if I do ever make a movie... I'm sure I've set myself up for we, you and Gonky to ruin it. We, yeah. No, yeah. If we ever make a movie. It's ever, anyway, it, it uh, doesn't matter if it's a 10 out of a 10. I'm going to ruin that movie. That's just so, good friendship. 
let, let, let's get back to the positive stuff because that's more what we do here. Yes. Uh, I want to give Very a good. shout out to my buddy's son, Davis. Okay. He's got a YouTube channel called Monkey Wrenches. It's got 30 something subscribers. Nice. And I think it's called the Roblox. Is that a thing? Roblox? You know anything about kids? No. I don't know. <laughs> but he does these video game things and he sent me the link. And he with with his 30 subscribers, he is giving shout outs and trying to help others grow their channel. And I just thought that was the coolest thing because that embodies don't be a douche and help your bro. And so, Davis, good job. Your dad is raising you well. Uh, His dad's actually a good guy. Flies A-10s, flight doc, flew F-16s. So on the right track. But I I wanted to give him a shout out because I'm like, you know, that kind of behavior needs to be rewarded. Uh, Because we'll get an email like this where somebody said, seen on Quora. So all he sent me was this picture. Where okay. somebody's mad at me on Quora, which is the I don't even know what that that's is. the it's a, the question site for the people that don't know anything about life. And it says, since the F-35A is nicknamed Fat Amy, what do you think the uh, unusual looking X-32 would have been nicknamed had it won the Joint Strike Fighter competition? And Richard sent me this that says, D.O. Mason, who studied at aviation, who has a picture of Fat Amy. The F-35 is nicknamed Fat Amy by those who didn't fly it, led by C.W. Lemoyne, who are kicked out from the active duty. The actual crews of the F-35 are nicknaming it as the Panther. So you know this guy doesn't fly because there's no such thing as kicked out of the active duty, and I've never nope. been kicked out of anything. Nope. Gawky and I joked that we'd been fired, but we, we ne- haven't no. been fired for real. No. That's, a, okay. that's a joke. So, but, oh, my God. So many things to say. First of all— wait, wait, wait. I, I want to okay. say one thing about, about the ahead. Panther. The Panther nickname is worse than Fat Amy. We make fun of Fat Amy because, like, and I didn't make that up, by the way. That is not, no, you know, that's what not trademark me. It predates me by, like, a long time ago. And I heard it, and I'm like, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. It's hilarious. But I heard the Panther around the same time. And the reason it's called the Panther is from Anchorman. Because it's the sex Panther. Because 60% of the time, it works every time. Because it was such a... It, um, it was such it had so a many problems. Airplane. It was such a great airplane no that never whatsoever. could fly or do anything. So it was always breaking. So yeah, be careful when you correct somebody with stuff like that, because I didn't make it. Anyway. No. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, you, 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 you said you had a whole bunch of things. You did not make it at all. I did not. Mm-hmm. Um and I literally a month ago taught a reserve. Reserve guard, reserve pilot who flies F thirty fives for the Air Force. And when I asked him, I was like, "So what do you what do you do in the reserves?" He's like, "I fly Fat Amy." So that is a guy who flies it, <laughs> who could have used anything he wanted, or just said the F thirty five. So yeah, um, I appreciate that person giving you props for coming up with the nickname. That's pretty cool, but you did not. Um, I I would love to take credit for it because did it's you very study creative. at aviation though? Because that's Hold on. Hold on. Somebody asked the question. Uh, and I, I got to give my boy some subscribers here. Nice. Uh, monkey go. wrenches. I'm going to look it up. It's the one. Yeah, it's monkey wrenches. Look, st- look, I still have the mover score 6.9. Nice. So nice. y'all can be no, triggered uh, again. It might go up. Might go up. Might go down. I'm going to I'm gonna put the wombat score in there for next week. Yeah. If it's anything other than 6.9. Uh, anyway. It will not be. All right, you ready for some more questions? Or did you have yeah. some more to say about Fat Amy? <laughs> no, we've spoken enough about that plane. We have we have spoken. Um, all right, this one was for... Okay, no. This one was sent to me at midnight by Mikey. Okay. So I got a midnight text from a, or an email from a Marine. It says... <laughs> Is it written in I, crayon or no? <laughs> Come on, I love my Marines. I can say that. I'm retired. Oh, no. Stand by the for the hate mail. Look, put I up the put disclaimer. Your, uh, put up put the, up. hold on, the hate mail. Uh, please send <laughs> all on. hate mail to at TR Matson author right. on the gram. Don't care. Uh, also, <laughs> the views are mine and do not represent the guests of my own and those people. Answer the question. Was it written in crayon? I, Just answer no, that question. It's, it's, okay. it's, a, it's a email. It even has a VR on it. So, you know, it's Ooh, official. He VR'd you. That is he VR'd official. me. I've watched quite a quite a few of your videos. Always enjoy them, except this one. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna love this one. I've never I've heard you mention marine fighter pilots. We always send pilots to Top Gun, 
First F-35 Cs, that are not called Fat Amy, by the way, have they deployed. Always a Blue Angel in the group. We do a lot, but rarely get a nod from the Air Force. I know we're a lot prettier than the Air Force pilots, but an occasional Hey Yo might be nice. VR Mikey. Hey Yo. <laughs> Come on, I we love- had special. We've had Marines on here. Yeah, I, dude, I I would never. I mean, I to me, it's all good natured, good natured yeah. fun. I mean, when I was of in course. my Hawkeye squadron on the Nimitz, we had VMFA two thirty two on board, the the Devils with us. Um, and then when I went to Hornets, we lost. We did not bring Marines with us. And I will tell you, it was way more fun with Marines on a ship. It was hilarious. Those dudes. I mean, first of all, what was great about it from a division officer standpoint is I had an example. Yeah. So like when my guys and girls would act up, I'd be like, look over there, look at what they're doing. Right. And that, so that was a natural um, step up for ours, but then it was just fun. Like every pipe on the aircraft carrier had a label on it that said, this is not a pull-up bar, like everything. It was beautiful. Like, it was so funny. Like all these steam pipes are like, stop doing pull-up bar pull-ups. You're breaking the pipes. CrossFit is a lifestyle. It is. It's something. Uh, So, uh, I will say that one of my last debts uh, at Strike Fatron 204 was a missile X at Miramar, which Mm -hmm. Miramar is not for the Top Gun, it's for the Marines and Marine Hornet dudes. And we did both. They helped me run the missile shoot, but then we also did Red Air for them. And I got to tell you, that was one of the best debts I've ever been a part of or run. Because the Marine dudes had their stuff together. They were very helpful. They made things easier on me as the dead OIC, except for the one time where we had a pilot that flew right over La Jolla. And I had to go into the, the base CO's office with the, I want some butts, like in real life. That actually yeah. happened. I was the dead OIC, so I was just the one standing next to him while he got chewed out. But yeah. me too, because, yeah, you know, reasons. Um, but Marines were awesome. And tactically... They were better than a lot of squadrons that were we good. went up against because Marines don't have the ego that Navy Top Gun has. Like, you know, they, they don't want to be like, oh, well, the Air Force does it. We don't want to do it because blah, blah, blah. They're just like, if it works, we're just going to steal it. it. We don't. Yeah, they don't. They don't care about credit. Like they were so much cooler to work with and then talk tactics with because it's like, hey, dude, we did this in the Viper. And they're like, oh, yeah, 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 we do that too because we saw this one guy do it and we thought it was cool, so we're going to do it and because that's yep. what they're... They have their own, like, strike fighter um, course at they Miramar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and it's just totally different the mindset. Mops, I, mops something like that. I, don't know I forgot what it's called. I forgot. Right. I really... No, and, and waving those guys behind the ship was hilarious. Because in the Navy, as you know, when you did your time, there's very much an emphasis put on landing on the ship, obviously, for good reason. Yeah. Um, so it was all about the greeny board and being number one and blah, blah, blah. The Marines? Nope. There was one point their whole greeny board was smiley faces and frowny faces. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. They're like, did I live? Did that's a smiley face. Did I scare myself <laughs> and almost have to call my parents? That's a frowny face. And that's how they tracked it because that was just how they lived. And it was it was just... It was refreshing, They're awesome. but They're awesome. every one of them would have your back. Every one of them yeah. would have your back. Yeah. So I, I a hundred percent agree. So just because we don't um, necessarily talk about, I don't know a whole bunch of Marines, but the ones I do have interacted with have all been awesome, which yeah. by the way, break, break, another banner here. Ooh. You can still get still. 20% off of that Thrustmaster T flight thing. And nice. Wombat or comments people or all of you. I need to figure out a giveaway because I've got they sent me like the whole kit. Right. And mm-hmm. I'll 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 do that. But I, I, I need to figure out some stakes. What I'm thinking. Hear me out. Currently Most top likely. of the noggin. Yeah. Uh, because eventually I'm going to do a move of ruins movies on Top Gun Maverick, which is really going to trigger the world. Um, can I? Can I, can, can I yeah, dude, it'll be Thank just a insanity. There's so okay. many mad people. Yeah. But and I don't know if Thrustmaster wants their their good name sullied with such a thing. <laughs> But what I was thinking was we can make this a group effort. My thought, and I'm not saying it yet, but y'all tell me what you think, is it'll be a contest, right? And you email me your Mover Ruins movie moment from the movie. So, like, somebody emails me and says, hey, this point was silly. They would never do this. This is why. And if we use it, if I display it, I will send them the thing. 
that they want. Like it's the a Hornet stick, like so, which is what I used. It's awesome. That is very or much a Hornet the stick, like so. T T Flight Hotas Four, which is a good entry level stick, or used for the X container if you wish to play on the X container. Uh, or the rudder pedals, which is what I also use. I also have a set of T Flight things. So I don't know. What, what does the comment section think about this? Give away the Hellcat. Nobody will take I'm it. Not giving it. Yeah, so that's the thing is, how how do I set up the, I want to make it a Folds of Honor fundraiser, but I don't know how to Can't do Can't you do it. donations like $10 get you a ticket or $5 get you a ticket? And then you know what? Are. That's a good point. I'm going to talk to Folds of Honor. We'll do yeah. the entry form and like, you know, five bucks to donate to Folds of Honor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we'll do. Done. And you can do multiple raffles too then. Done. Right? You can do yeah. a grand prize. You can do smaller prizes. Well, they need to know, they need what? to say what they're entering to win, because if you've already got one of these, you probably don't want it. But if you've already yeah. got the rudder pedals, you don't, and you want this, you know what I'm saying? What like, are rudder got, pedals used for again? Uh, uh, high alpha right. maneuvering. Like, get the, get the nose around. Uh, I'm just going to leave that one. Okay. Um, I need to autograph. I'll even, ride. if it helps you, I'll throw in any and all uh of my merchandise as part of it okay. and the book signed and the book. And, damn dude we're we're gonna get all right so we're gonna do that anyway back well to if, if it helps get donations for folds of honor i'm in i don't care whatever yeah. okay all right so uh question for wombat yes. ask wombat if you don't use it you lose it is it true <laughs> it is <laughs> you did laugh really <laughs> give me credit for that one that was Ask anyway. Go ahead. What the, well, <laughs> <laughs> ask, ask Wombat what the best qualities in a leader are. Uh, best qualities in a leader. God, that's a long list. WTI. That's but what I it's thought called. it was called something else. No, that's right. That's right. It is right, but yeah, you're right. Because we had WTI guys on our boat. You're right. I thought it was something cool. What's MOPS then? MOPS is some other course they do then. MOP level four. It's when you put all that crap no, on. No, that's... Would you answer the question? How do you be a leader? I can tell you how not to be a leader. I can show you some very good examples of how not to be a you leader. You might not be... It's uh, probably not appropriate right now. You no. Know, uh, moving Hold on from that. that um, there you go. Put it up. That's a, so to me, leadership... Um, I'm going to try to answer this without ranting too much, but it's not going to Give happen. me three to six sentences, a.k.a. a paragraph. Um, <laughs> it's not how I write. You know that. You've read it. Um, listening to the people that you work for. And what I mean for that by that is not the people above you, but the people below you. So ultimately, as a leader, you are working for the people you are leading. And if you don't listen to them, you cannot lead them effectively. So a lot of times I see this, I saw this in the military, I see it in corporate America, I see it in life. People want to surround themselves with people that agree with them all the time, the proverbial yes man or woman or whatever. So the problem is if you do that and you surround yourself by people that are only going to agree with what your idea is, you're living in such a bubble that you can't effectively lead. Now there are times And these times are more so, I'm thinking, in combat or emergency type scenarios, being a police officer is one of them, et cetera, where you as a leader have to make that call and you have to be decisive and you have to go for it and you have to live with the consequences. But those are fleeting and quick and not the majority of the time you're leading. So all of that other time you're leading, you need to work for the people you're leading and surround yourself by people that are not afraid to be honest with you. That is probably the biggest thing that I can think of, which was more than three to six sentences. I apologize. Kind of a TED talk, dude. That was pretty good. That's my take. Don't be a yes man and don't reward yes men. Well done. Have a thick skin. Well done. That's why that's why we bring you on for the incident. And that's why I got retired. No, um <laughs> retired. Uh, that's, that's why you favorite. retired as not a leader. As not, uh, yeah. Well, you were a leader. Uh, you were just not the the, you're not Tom Cruise leader. You're not flying Dark Star. I am not. They never yet asked me to fly Dark Star. You're just a 
fired fighter pilot like the rest of us. <laughs> Such stupid. I like that. Clip. Uh, I like that. Clip. All right, Omar. Hey, Mover. I just watched Maverick and love most of it. Uh oh. Stand by for being canceled here, Omar. Yes. Especially. Oh, I can't. This has got spoilers. Okay. Next time. This put it on. I our... can't. I can't. Uh, yeah. We'll put it on for the next one. Uh, Steven says, oh, this one I, I can do because it's the intro of Top Gun. In the beginning intro sequence of Top Gun, there's a shot of what appears to be a manned, windowed control center built into the flight deck of the carrier. I've never seen this before. What's the purpose of it and how long have those been used for? Those are the bubble. It's called the bubble. Uh, it's bubble. been used for as long as we've had aircraft carriers, to my knowledge. Um, so the shooter, who you see on videos, yellow shirt, does a little, whatever their little dance is, touches the deck, fires you off. Um, the uh, they, they can do deck launches, which they like, because they're out there and, and all that. But if the weather's really bad, um, or sometimes they would do it just because they had to stay proficient in both, they could do it what they call the bubble launch where they would do all the launching down there. Now, all the other people are up on the flight deck still, unfortunately. Uh, so they're still getting the, the crap beat out of them by the weather. Um, but then everything is done via the light signal. So it would be flashing lights on the deck would tell me to run the power up. I would flip on my lights at night, which would then signal to them that I'm ready to go. That's your salute at night. And then the light would go a different sequence and then i know that we're going to go so it's just a it's a think of it for a weather aspect but it can also be if you think about it, this is a war fighting ship right and in combat where in real combat not the combat that we've been in for my whole career you know you potentially are getting attacked at the same time you're trying to launch a counterattack. so this keeps those people a little bit more safe and allows them to do their job from there i like deck launches because it's cool Bubble launches are less yeah. cool. Yeah, but it's yeah. cool to watch. I've been in the bubble. They let us go there to watch the launches. It's super small and smells horrible. But other than that, that's what she said. Yeah, uh, it is. It is a heck of a view to watch airplanes. But all right. Well, that's all the questions I have since the last one. Sweet. Uh, we did the core thing. Let's turn to the audience. Ooh. And is there a see lot of what people? kind of stuff. Nah, today's uh Wombat. Thoughts on the Bronco Raptor. What is a Bronco Raptor? It is a Raptor version of the Bronco. It's very self-explanatory in the title there. Um, it is I like it. I think the fender mute you. That's just rude. Because you were mean to me. That's why. Well, but the question I don't have a tone me. button. <laughs> okay. Um, I like the Bronco Raptor. I think the fenders could have been done better. Broptor? Is it a bro? It's a broptor. It's not. Brotor. But Raptor? I like it. It's supposedly pretty impressive capability wise for off roading. Is it fast? Uh, I mean, well, it's not a Hellcat, but it's not designed. Things That's have different missions. Way. Dude, I, sad day today. Got rid of the boat. Yeah. Sad the boat. Sad the boat. So now I have okay. nothing to tow. So you don't need a Hellcat. Don't need a Hellcat anymore. Not that I, mean, I needed you a ever... to tow a pontoon boat, but, <laughs> you know. Why'd you sell it? Just weren't using it? So, I mean, it was my Unless dad's you... boat. And I, every time I used it, I was sad. And so in the nine years since my dad died, I had used it maybe four or five times. And so I was like, this time, you're going to get it going. And I took it to the thing, and the ethanol and the gas had gotten so bad, like it was slushy, that it oh, ate through the fuel good. pump. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, hey, it's, you know, 1500 bucks to fix. And I'm like, do I don't want to dump $1,500 into something that I'm not yeah, ever you're using not, and don't have yeah. time to use? So I just, I said, look, I'll sell it. And, you know, my stepmom, there's still some estate stuff that needed to be handled. So I'm like, we'll just move them, use the money for that. And whatever um so well somebody else will get it get it fixed up and it'll bring joy so yeah yeah so anyway uh let's see here wombat how big were your arms when flying the e2 i've seen videos of e2's landing that thing takes some horsing around on the yoke i agree um they were no bigger than they are now uh 
a good pilot trims their aircraft. So if the Hawkeye was trimmed, it wasn't too bad. The problem with the Hawkeye, and I've, I've spoke to this before, is that the um, it wasn't counter-rotating props. So every time you had power, the nose would go up and to the right. Every time you took off power, the nose would drop and go to the left. So it was that's what you're seeing in all that motion is that constant coordination. Um, but again, the plane should be, better be, trimmed up for on speed if you're trying to land it on an aircraft carrier. So you're just, I mean, I, I've watched good pilots in the Hawkeye. I was never one. I was average. But I've watched good pilots. I've, I've waved it a billion times to where they're working what you see in that video like crazy, and the plane just looks perfect coming in. So it's just that. It is what it is. Can Wombat's toilet chair be part of the... Apparently, episode? somebody on your other video said it's worth way more money than... And I have two of them. Why Apparently, are you, why are you hoarding like, toilets from the hospital? I don't know. I was thinking about taking it out and putting my ready room chair there. What do you think? Do you have an ejection seat? No, because I didn't eject. But what I want to get is one. the seat out of a Hawkeye. That'd be cool. All right. But Wombat... Rudder pedals are not for hitting or for not hitting the carrier superstructure when landing your crippled Hawkeye. True story. That's from the book. That's from my life, which is from the book. Which is what you should, should not. What are your thoughts on Skunk Works Dark Star program that could potentially be the SR-72? Sure. Thanks. Yeah. It's very fun to play in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I bet it is. Best is I could do is play like, on the Xbox. X container. <laughs> I did a uh, so they have this mission where you go from China Lake to Cape Canaveral and I overshot Cape Canaveral by a little bit and ended up ditching because I ran out of gas into the Atlantic so there's that I'm not the best ex-container pilot mover highest G load you did in the F-18 I think I might have done 8 because I think you could do up to 8 and not be a over G uh, Viper was 9.8 and that hurt like all of the things. That was not much fun. Wombat? 8.2. 8.2. Was that an overgy? That was the, yes, that was the, the story I told you about the scooping it out in the desert. Love your channel mover. Don't let the trolls get to you. You know, my problem is I just read all the comments. I shouldn't, but like, I care what people think because I'm like, I, I don't want to be a douche. I want, you know, I need feedback and stuff. And then I get sucked in, so to speak, to the toxicity of the internet. So I should figure out a way to not to do that. Uh, I don't know. No idea. What is your take on Tom on demand for Val to be in the movie? I, it's great. It's great. You know, and I don't have a... See, that's the other thing, too. This is a joke. I have no problems with Tom Cruise. He's made a lot of good movies. Like, if Tom Cruise made Days of Thunder, I'd be all kinds of excited about Days of Thunder. You of know, course. Edge of Tomorrow. I loved Edge of Tomorrow. Uh, I, I thought he was great in Tropic Thunder. Like, he is a good actor. A little weird in some other areas. Yeah, whatever. But great actor. Love the movies. Don't have a problem with him. Think it's cool that he does all this stuff. That's it. That's the whole thing. Like, they're not mutually exclusive. To be like, yeah, hey, here's the problems I had, and here's what I loved, does not mean overall, you know, it's not a, this is the everybody gets a trophy thing, right? Where if it's not, you know, these kids that never get told anything other than you're the greatest, you we love you, oh, you're the best soccer player in the world, here's your trophy, we didn't even keep score. You got to keep score. Here's a score. Life is keeping great? score. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would not survive in a debrief at all. Oh, 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 oh. Can't talk about that. It's a spoiler. Okay, here we go. There we go. Hold on. Uh, how bad were the Iron Eagle films? Go watch Mover Ruins Movies Iron Eagle. <laughs> Here's the other thing about Iron Eagle. The plot... And the, which by the way, Iron Eagle 2 may look a little familiar to people. Plot is stupid, but the jet scenes are awesome. The filming was great. Mm -hmm. Did you always wear NVGs? No. Not always. I, um, I got to the point where I'd left them off unless I needed them. 
Yeah. I hate them. I didn't, I didn't I hate like them. Our, I did not like the weight. Ours were older and they're just, they seem finicky. I don't, there were times where I was like, thank God I have MVGs. And then there were times where I'm like, flip these things up. Let's go back to basics, right? Bearing range azimuth or whatever. I don't even know the basics anymore. doesn't matter. Just started reading Stand Against Evil. Great job. Any suggestions for the next? Yes, keep going in the series. you got quite a few books left. Uh, Helios Conspiracy. Great book. Or Absolute Vengeance, if you want to. Also a great book. Biggest bombs you guys have ever dropped? 2,000 pounder. Yeah. Or a JSAL. Is that, how much does that weigh? I don't know. Probably not much. Is it, it was, it was is a JSAL Alpha. It was the cluster bomb one. That was super fun. Yeah. To watch that thing fly. And just. Yeah, it was how would you compare fun. the handling qualities of the Hornet and Viper at low level? About the same. You're going, you're going say, so yeah. fast. You're going so fast that, uh, which one was the Hornet? It was 480 or 540. 480, I think. I think we were 540 in the Viper. For your... For a low level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah probably. But, yeah. but the difference was in the Air Force, you were capped at 500 feet or 1,000 feet if you were solo. So if you were a two-ship, you could go to 500 feet. You had to have a special call to go below 500 feet. In the Navy, the first time I did a low level, he's like, all right, boys, 200 feet. And I'm like, what? I haven't been <laughs> trained in this. He's like, you're, you're getting it today. To <laughs> I was like, whoa, okay. Mm -hmm. is scary. Yeah. Is Mavericks patented hitting the brakes and watching fly right past a real maneuver? Not if the other guy's not completely incompetent. I mean, it could be. Yeah. I mean, in theory. Over and Wombat. What? <laughs> it's awesome. Foreign fighter jet you wish you could fly? 787, maybe. No. Um, is that not? <laughs> uh, I don't know. The Typhoon looks cool. The Gripen. Yeah. Yeah. That is pretty cool, too. The Gripen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, what now? You know, <laughs> <laughs> look, Kate, you're on the wrong channel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, what? You know the guy double over in pain with his hands over his ears in that scene where the jet flies over Ed Harris and blows the top off of the guard shack? I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. The shockwave uh -huh. from that had to feel fantastic. Yeah. I if you had a I, sinus I, problem and that plane went over, you no longer have a sinus problem. <laughs> or maybe you have a very big sinus problem. All I heard was head. Um, <laughs> what was that? A DOD shrug to my You are question. not a B type personality, my friend. <laughs> I am not a B type. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I'm wrong here. Oh, my God. Uh, Gripping, baby. There you go. Oh my God! Seriously, come on, Jennifer Connelly, moving, all day yeah, long. Moving on. Get her. Moving on. Jennifer now. Jennifer now. Yes. Jennifer now. Jennifer yes. now. Yeah. Jennifer now. I agree. Mover, you should team up with Baltic Dragon and bring uh, out a campaign based on one of your books, like they did with Raven One, or T. R. Matson could do one based off of. Reason like. I don't know how to hold on. I need a producer, dude. That I need you somebody do. to do this for me. Anybody want to work Kate? for free? Does she do any producing? Did you ever simulate dogfight guns only? All That's literally all we do. That's literally <laughs> dogfighting. Like when he said, oh, we're going to be guns only. I'm like, like why'd you have to say that? That's yeah. standard. Yeah. 100%. Uh, Those were the best ones. Grimshaw, yeah, because Tom Cruise wants to do his own stunts, for which he sits in the rear of the aircraft. The F-35 doesn't have two seats. So it does have redeeming qualities. 
I need the F-18 stick. Stick. What do I need to do? I'll let you know. I got to talk to my folds, folks. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out and be smart about it. It's so freaking loud. Grip and love from Sweden over here. Damn right. I mean, that's not the only one I'd fly. If anyone has a Su-35, I'll fly it. A Su-27, I'll fly it. A MiG-29, I'll fly it. A Rafale, I'll fly it. A Eurofighter, I'll fly it. Um, it's easier for me to say what I won't fly, to be honest with you. There we go, Wombat. Now that you're officially retired, what names do you prefer to be called versus real versus call sign? Depends on who's talking to me. If it's in a okay. normal environment, it's always been my first name. But if it's my friends, call signs. I mean, there's some people I know I don't even know their name. I mean, so depends. Yeah, my first name Friday was always a challenge. Oh, What's God, the that's move? the worst. What's the counter move to hit the brakes and fly right by? Also hit oh, the it's brakes easy. and don't fly right by. Well, <laughs> or stay saddled as... up in the control zone and then gun him because he gives you this plan for him. <laughs> As they're slowing down to set up that maneuver, kill them. <laughs> right? That whole Slow down bringing with him. them in closer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they they were driving around for a really long time. <laughs> yeah. I just laughed during that scene because that was absolutely me. Define you. Yeah. I'm like, confused. How? How was that you? Mm-hmm. That scene was real. They actually filmed that with a real jet. Just put Dark yeah, Star. Blue Angel. I'm not saying that word. I will not say those three letters. It's a Blue Angel. We're not getting, we're not getting canceled harder. Mm -hmm. No. I mean. No. 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 If he ejected without like a pod, he's a pink. Maybe there was a pod. Okay. If there was a pod, the G Let's forces would make him a, a pink mist inside the pod. Yeah, he's dead. He's like super dead. He's so dead, beyond dead. Hold on. Man, this thing keeps resetting. Uh, oh, wow. These are some great questions. Oh, boy. Hopefully they're all directed at you. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, even at low speed, you can feel them go by. Yeah, it should shake your bones. I could tell you a funny story about that, but I won't. It's not appropriate. Well, okay. it might be appropriate. Uh, tell it until I find something interesting. Okay, so on the carrier, we have the Prowler, right? Now, I've never flew the Prowler. I've flown in it, but I never flew the Prowler. But the Prowler was a big, heavy Grumman plane with engines, and they had to really crank up the cats for it. And I learned from one of my female friends that they loved going deck side during prowler launches oh, that was like a known thing machine. on the ship apparently yeah so okay back to jets are there positive g limits on the viper and hornet yes yes and with bombs it changes with bombs like the viper wasn't always a 9g jet you know you were it very rarely viper. was right i mean yeah was it was it 9g slick or could you have any tanks Sl slick yes it was six and a half G's till tanks dry, and then 7.33 with a targeting pod, and then eight and a half G's if you were tanks dry, but nothing else, and then nine G's if you were slick slick. Did the plane calculate that? Oh, God, no it's such a pain. You would, you'd be in, well, so you'd be in Cat 3, which changed, which changed the limiter, but it wasn't as smart as the Hornet, which would Hornet. be like, oh, you've got this today. Thanks, yeah. Jeeves. Here's your yeah. six Gs. You know, it, no, it wasn't as smart as. Oh, that. there's no way I could fly the Viper. I didn't realize how antiquated some of the Air Force planes were. Like, yeah. I learned just a little while ago that the F-15 doesn't have auto throttles, and I'm like, what? Viper doesn't either. Yeah, well, I just learned when that. When I first got like the auto ago. throttles, I was like, yeah, this is amazing. This is like an airliner. But that Amy does, and that's why they crashed. Or that one time. Jennifer Connolly blew this man's mind. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Um, super sticker. Thank you, A-chaps. The Su-3050. Could. We'll say the first okay. words could. That one gave me the 
<laughs> just ruined everything after you have that. a seizure. The Su fifty seven do that maneuver is like a full up stroke. That maneuver without ripping apart the speed like you see in the trailer during that good dog fight? Yes. Sure. Yeah. Like, I'm not... Uh, uh, I'm not psychic. I don't know. Yeah. Probably. I want to believe it, Ken. I believed it in the movie. Kate, we still don't know... I don't really understand... Like, maybe I'm missing some comments, but there seems to be a, a missing yeah. from how you... That was you to how we're producing laughs. We need a nexus. Yeah. Seven and a half. Legally. Legally. Unless it's a Swiss. Then it's then nine. The wings right? don't fold. Yeah, they're nine G jets. Yep. It might even be more than that. Yeah. Uh, my question is, who doesn't realize that Jennifer's character was from Top Gun 1? She would have been like 15, though, back then. That's okay. So. It's okay. He just flew over her house, bro. He didn't do anything. He thumped her house. But why? Why would you go after a 15-year-old? The criticism you're receiving is unfortunately a byproduct of the world we live in now and how some people behave if you disagree with them. It's their way or they trash you even if you are right. And I'm not saying I'm right. I just have an opinion. Whose call sign has a greasier backstory, Wombat or Gonkies? Uh, For sure, Gonkies. Yeah. Yeah, Gonkies is not fit for any public consumption. Canceled immediately. What planes won't you fly, Wombat? Um, anything that starts with Boeing. 737. And, yeah. I mean, if it doesn't have auto trim at this point in my life, you could have it. Um, unless it's a private plane. Um... I will not fly a jet without an ejection seat. And helicopters. Yeah. Well, I'll fly helicopters all day well, long. I know. I but love helicopters. You've Absolutely made a ton of day. bad decisions in your life. That's not. That's true. <laughs> um, you both can work as a movie advisor. Top would be a 10 instead of a 6.9. I agree. And I was thinking about that when you're, I, yeah, well, I don't a hundred percent understand what he means, but I think somebody else asked, and I don't read all of the, uh, I don't read all the comments because, because frankly, that's your job, but, um, sit there and I, look at your phone. That's why I got nothing better to do. I think that somebody asked what you would say to Tom Cruise about the movie if you had met him. And I was like, thought to myself, I'm like, well, you'd probably be like, Hey, it was a really entertaining movie. But I think, five. yeah, I think, <laughs> I think that with his enthusiasm for this movie, because he was really enthusiastic about making it with his enthusiasm for this movie, coupled with the right advisors, which he did have some, but I'm talking like the advisors that are there all of the time, not just when he's doing stuff with the Navy, it could have sent this thing into like, dark star altitude with how good it was. I think because it, it wouldn't take much. It's little nuances yeah. here and there that you're like, mm -hmm. what? And I think honestly, and maybe I'm wrong and Tom reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, but <laughs> I think he would appreciate that. Frankly, I really do. Like I genuinely, cause I, everything I've read about the guy and everything I've seen is that he really wanted to make this. Did when you saw it, did he do the intro where like he said something? Yeah, I mean, he genuinely cares. Um, and that's why he put all of the, the actors through all that training and stuff. Like, it was, I mean, you could, the real parts of it were, were dope. I mean, the G-forces. and I mean, that was, that was cool. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. cool. So I agree with. Kate is a jet. No, she's a Jennifer Connelly. This is what, what happens happened. when you have a male dominated comment section and the one girl shows the up. The one girl who uses her own picture as her profile comes up and they're just like, what are Mover and yeah. Wombat saying? The, like, this is cares? where the type B shows up. Yeah. Uh, they're, hit the brakes, they're immediately hitting mute so they don't have to listen to us. And they're just following what she says in the comments. Which yeah, that, that's Good what she her. said. Hit the brakes and fly right by is the correct maneuver when you know the opponent's air brakes are broken. First of all, the Super Hornet does not have an air brake. Not those things. 
It's not an air brake. You're an air brake. <laughs> this whole place is. An Are air there break. pilots that would break a leg to avoid real combat? Yes. Mm -hmm. Probably. Yeah. There's one whose call sign is war spell backwards because he's the last guy you'd want to go to war with. Wow. Wow. Also, yeah, we're not going to go any. Yeah. Than that. That's as far as I. That's. Wow. Long. <laughs> not just pilots. There's a lot of people in the military that would break the leg to avoid. Remember, the military is just a cross section of society. Good and bad. No, no, we're not doing that. No, we're not doing that. Plot twist, Kate was the guy doubled over. Oh. Makes sense. Oh, Stephen. Why Why do you... There you go. Yeah. Spook. Can you report to a duty station in a white tee? Only if you're not wearing your helmet and riding a motorcycle. Yeah, and there's no security at all. You just right by. Yeah. Yes. Especially on probably that, the most. That Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. You take it back. I thought you weren't going to be political. Two things you can't stay <laughs> say on this channel. I'm not saying either of those. Favorite actor pilot from Top Gun Maverick. Maverick. He was the only one that had any development at all. I liked Rooster better. Not better. I liked Rooster. Well, that's because you haven't been through the same things I've been through. All right. So we can have a differing of opinion and still be friends. Look, we just taught no, the world no. something. You're canceled. Look, I'm muting your mic. Damn it. <laughs> uh, in Top Gun 1, do you think it's possible Iceman spun out Mav on purpose? No. No. That's no. right. That was dumb. Yeah. That whole thing was dumb. Okay, so here's some Chinese spies asking some questions I can't answer. <laughs> um, at least it's in English. That's good. The bots are getting uh, better. Oh, here we go. I'm referring to being doubled over in pain from the sound. Oh. Uh, now it makes sense. So she was saying that, gotcha, I'm on board now. It's happened to her. You get it's so listen, I've never claimed to be a smart man. No. Or, or I agree even, with that. You are not a smart man. Not a smart man. <laughs> hey Wombat, are you gonna continue Rattler story? Isn't that what you opened with? I'm literally working on it. I was literally doing research while watching my son for a scene that I'm about to write. Today? So, yes. Uh yeah, maybe yeah, I'll write it today. I got to do another one of these for those those kids and wherever they are, the Civil Air Patrol. That's a good question. I, I tried Twitch streaming last night on the X container and failed miserably. I don't think that's a viable option unless we're playing like some game like Mass Effect. But I want to do the Microsoft Flight Sim challenges in the Hornet. So, yeah, but I don't know about tonight. Um. This is true. Did you know this, Wombat? No, hold on. I have to read it. I got a, a fan flight in a Viper. And I'll read it to you because that's the kind of guy I am. During egress training, pilot told me the backup manual canopy release would rip your hand off due to where it was behind you. Is that true? Yes. So, F-16, right? Seat sequences because the canopy, there's a little cord in the back where the seat's connected to the canopy. And the canopy has to go to pull that. In order, are you listening? What are, you, what are we looking at here? I was, sorry, I'm listening. I was right, reading. Right, I saw my name. Story. Stop Stop that. I'm trying to tell you some stuff here. Educate. So the canopy has to go. So if you pull the handle, nothing happened. They would tell you you have the rest of your life to figure it out. Rightfully so. Do you not have the little pokey things like the Hornet had to go through? Oh, that sucks. Canopy's got to go. So what you do is you pull the handle. Nothing happens. You check to make sure your seat's armed. Get back into good, position. That's a now, good second step. Then you'd reach over to the left, pull the spider guard, go back into the position because the spider guard would pop the seal and then the canopy might go. If that didn't work. Then you'd hit the automatic button to... I'm not flipping y'all off, I promise. Look, I have all my fingers, by the way. Somebody asked if I was losing missing digits, but that's not true. Uh, I don't know where these things are. I think are. they meant in your head, not... Yeah, it's true. 
So then you do that. You get back in the position. If that didn't work and the canopy still didn't come up, there's a crank back there. So you you were basically guaranteed to lose your arm, but the only way to get the canopy to start going was to start cranking. So you'd crank, get back, crank, get back, and oh, probably what would happen ridiculous. was you'd crank, crank enough, and the seat go would and go, then... yeah, and your arm would be back there and your arm would just be gone. So that is a true story. Wow. You know what I learned today doing my research that you knew? Mm -hmm. The Viper does not have mirrors. Yeah, there'd be nowhere to put them. And Plus, we're always the... offensive, so yeah. there's no reason for that. Oh, Nothing boy. to look behind you for. Oh, boy. Well, <laughs> I, I was talking... Put... Look, every jet I've ever flown, I always put the mirrors looking at myself because I didn't need them for anything outside. Oh, boy. I... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I was talking to a F-22 pilot that you know, um, and the F-22 did not have mirrors. And I'm like, it didn't have mirrors? Because to me, I mean, T-45s, Hornets have been, you know, and uh, and it was like, yeah, no mirrors. And I was like, and that was my joke. I was like, well, I guess in the Raptor, there's really no reason because you're going to be offensive all the time. So what difference does it no, make? I ruined it for you. You did. Thanks for that. Appreciate Sorry. it. All right. There's a script here, Mover. Read the me. script. Thanks, Anthony. You're a nice fella. And thanks for crew chiefing the best, crew, crewing chief, crew chiefing the best aircraft in the world. What squadron is the 524? I honestly don't know, but the F-16 is awesome. So oh, okay. I'm going to give him credit for well, that. Good for him. Yeah. Could you do the Cobra and the Super Hornet? Did you fly that Super Hornet? No. I mean, I've flown in it, but I didn't fly it. Uh, so the, uh, uh, Cobra is a post-stall maneuver. I don't think, I mean, I think you'd have to be like air show configured to even have a chance of doing it. Mostly thrust vectoring aircraft can do it, but like. Looks cool. Um, yeah. Looks cool. I don't, well, I mean, a Su-27 can do it, but sure, those things are, they, though, they paddle right? off the flight controls to get that yeah, to. That's, It'd be tough. I mean, you might be able to in an air show configured in your basic, you know, go to war, dogfighting, air to air. No. With a pod, no. Uh-oh. Leave Kate alone, people. Yeah. All these people. Where'd all these people come from? Suddenly mm -hmm. I'm interesting. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, it's definitely... Believe in that. <laughs> well, Bad Ergonki, tell us how they got their call sign if they are our airline pilot. No. You can ask. If you ever see them in person, I want you to go up to them and high five them. That'd be awesome. I'll shake your hand. I'll give you a coin. You find me at an airport, I'll give you a coin. How about that? Check this out. What is the best BFM sortie you've had? The only one you won. No, I'm just kidding. The best. I mean, they're all blast. Right? I think one of the best ones was one of my early ones as like a brand new lieutenant. Because I didn't know what I was doing. And all I knew was the, the fundamentals. And they told me that I was going to fight against fight a guy in a Super Hornet. And he was on his way to Top Gun. He was doing Top Gun spin up or whatever. And they're like, you're going to do, you know, whatever. And I'm like, Top Gun. <laughs> rut row i've and seen that movie those guys are good we went <laughs> two circle at the merge and i'm gonna block 30 big mouth and i went up and he tried to come up with me and we went two circle uphill and i was pointing at him in like 180 degrees of turn because i just outrated the crap out of him sure, sure. and i was like oh, it worked <laughs> so did you what well, it's a side stick right like if it was a hornet you would like trigger down with both hands because it felt so good you just be like, Bleh. dude, I was just like, I was writing my name on the back of that jet. Like, I was yeah. like, this is the greatest thing I've ever done. Like, I got back and I was showing everybody. I'm like, look what I did. Look what I did. But we only did one set like that because after that he was and I was just a wingman. So I couldn't lead anything. Yeah, He's yeah. like, next set will be in a beam set. I'm like, what's in a beam set? He's yeah. like, we're going to be at the beam is one mile. Kill you in a second. Three, two, You're one like... fights on. <laughs> yeah. So it was like three, two, one fights on. And I'm like, what is in a beam set? Uh oh. What is and in a beam dead. set? So we would turn and I would just be like, what is he doing? Like, why? So we were just neutral because I. I That's hilarious. Like, like, what? How, how do I? Because all you could do is put it on the limiter and climb. Because the Viper, yeah. you know, once you hit the alpha limit, you just climb up. Climb. And he couldn't yeah. climb with me because I'm going to clean block 30. Like, clean. No centerline bag. Oh, man. Nothing on the that wings. Must have been awesome. Dude. 
Oh, that must have been the best 23 minutes of flying you had ever. <laughs> 29,000 pounds and 21,000, or sorry, 29,000 pounds of thrust and 21,000 pounds of weight. That's awesome. And, dude, awesome. bring it. So, My best is a shorter story. It's just the one that I remember learning the most valuable lesson. I was flying against my skipper off the boat on the first cycle of the day, 45 minute BFM cycle. We hit the merge and I was going to win because I was going to go nose low. And I learned a very valuable lesson <laughs> because every time I had fought up to that, nobody ever just goes nose low. And I'm like, I thought of this wonderful maneuver that nobody in the Hornet's ever done. I'm going to be the greatest fighter pilot ever. And it went nose low. And my skipper on tack was laughing at me. And he's like, you better do your G strain, bro. I will never <laughs> forget that is our tactical comm. Dude. And I'm like, I wonder what he means. And I start pulling and I'm like, oh my God. And I, the, yeah. The Lesson absolute work. best BFM is when you're fighting somebody who's not in the same kind of jet and they come over ox and say something to you. Yes. Like that was always the fun, like the Canadians would always come to town. And the Canadians had this thing that they thought they were always going to do this double Immelman. And mm -hmm. it never worked. Like, be <laughs> because, like, against us, you know, it's yeah. like, we would yeah, come, yeah. Right, oh, here we go. And then, you know, they would fall off and I would just be yeah. screaming to the moon. Yeah, you're like, and I, can we do a triple, quadruple? How yeah. many times do you want and me to guys, go And <laughs> the guy's like, come on, Ox going, whoa. You yeah. know, because <laughs> he's just, he's not, ex like, dude, it's like, this is, they didn't tell y'all. Like, this is not the first time y'all have come down here. We did dissimilar with uh, F-15s once, and I had the guy come over our tack, and literally he was just like, damn it. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> trigger down. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. I was like, God, I feel so good. Now I'm going to kill you. All right. We got some we got some clarification on the Kate situation. Oh, thank she God. was caught at the end of the runway as a jet took off overhead, and it was so loud that she almost fell over with ears in pain because of the holy cows. So... She would have loved the flight deck when the Prowlers were launching, I'm guessing. Yeah. I don't know. The world of cinema does not revolve around one actor. Mm. Doesn't it, though? You have to develop all the characters, not just the one. Apparently, you don't have to. No, you don't. I'm wrong. <laughs> so there you go. Could you do a split-screen interview with Tom or someone? Pro first that would of be all. a great... Mover, you know what? That's a first great idea. Yeah. First of all... Hey, Scroll down to your Rolodex. Is it right there? It's off screen. Is it right? Can you yeah, move the camera down just so people could see your Rolodex? It's written down but, next to my hostage yeah. letter. Just uh, give Tom a ring. This is what he required. Now I can do the interview. As yeah, long as I read this, yeah. it was good. I can read yeah. the... Thing. He was texting me a minute ago. I should have asked. Yeah. I apologize. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I think he's mad at me because I didn't want to go for a ride in his P-51. Uh, Tomcat. All day. Tomcat, yes. With no Wizzo. Well, that's good because they were Rios. Perfect. Ooh. Somebody just said his name. Oh. Somebody said oh. whose name? Somebody. Oh, don't. Don't. Oh. Don't. Somebody said his don't. name from earlier. <sighs> don't. Don't. Uh, yeah. I'm fired. Or, I'm fired harder. Oh. Um, let's see. They use advisors on movies, but still get things wrong. Sometimes they need to be changed, made to do budget story issues. And mess. Yeah, sure. they just ignore it. Of course them. they do. It's, but some of it is like, it's too much. Like scouts. And the 69 is a nice touch. That is. Uh, all right, here we go. One more time. So bottom line, I just found myself identifying with the poor sap in the movie who also found himself in a similar position. I think we can go ahead and put the whole Pam Pam thing to bed. Yeah, let's just... Pam, Thank Pam. you for explaining. Yeah. Dude, and monkey wrenches. There That's you go. Him. There's the man. That's the guy. That's the guy. Yeah. Mover, it's me. Monkey wrenches. <laughs> go follow monkey wrenches. Literally. What a guy. That's no, cool. seriously, I'm not making I am. That is so impressed. cool. That is awesome. That's Great cool. job. Love the channel. Love what you're doing for other people. The fact that you're selfless. Shit hot. Sorry, I can't say that to a child. Um, uh, I think he just did. So, what is the way to say it to a child? Poop hot, poop warm. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse. Than, In it case anybody wasn't here, wasn't sure. Mover is not a father at all. No, no. I'm, the dogs don't speak of the English. Oh my god. 
Uh, they have no thumbs. Mm -hmm. How would you be socially accepted if you came to a casual bar in full formal Air Force blue or Navy white? They'd laugh at you. Uh, I don't even know if I have such things. They would laugh at you. They would laugh. They'd look and be like, who, what? What? Uh, holy crap. How far behind on these comments I am? You are way behind, dude. Way Why were Top Gun graduates struggling to do 9Gs? Because they never did 9Gs before. You're yeah. a Hornet guy. You've never done 9Gs. No. Shit, that's a spoiler, too. Stop spoiling the movie. Yeah, you guys need to stop yourselves. Uh, email about the medical question. I think I forwarded it. If not, email me to CBL, yeah, CW Lemoyne at CWLemoyne.com, and I'll forward it from there. Because sometimes... Maybe it doesn't go through. Uh, yeah. Okay, not gonna read that one. <laughs> Which one? Read I that read one. It now. <laughs> That's true. Well, it's slightly less offensive. I don't know about that. Oh, he was a crew chief at Cannon. That's cool. Oh, nice. Has this Maverick dude entered a plane which he hasn't damaged at least once? I mean, he would be a really crappy pilot in real life. Yeah, he's not making 06, I can tell you that. He's uh, he's out at 20 as an 04. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, I was like, wait a second. Uh, you can own a piece of anything. You try hard <laughs> enough. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> What's the lowest you've ever flown? 200 feet. 100. 100 feet. Mm -hmm. At the rag. We did that briefly. Out of curiosity, how long does it take for flying in the Air Force or Navy to begin to feel more work than fun, if ever? I mean, the exact date is hard to remember. It depends. That's a good Top Gun answer. That was our answer to everything. It depends. It depends because it depends on what you're doing. There are certain aspects of the job that never got old. Night carrier landing to me, never got old, never felt like work. Um... But other aspects, you're like, meh. Yeah. Okay. Did you guys ever fly drones? Nope. Just a plane with a UFO on top. I got a DJI Mavic somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, it's in the case. So I got a DJI Mavic drone back in behind me. A DCS. It's about as close as you're going to get. DCS and Microsoft Flight Sim's got a Top Gun pack. Will this movie save the movie industry? Who knows? I didn't know they were in peril. Are they? I mean, I will tell you that theater was crowded. Yeah, it's full. The one Sunday is full, too. I've got some. I've got to watch the movie from 90 degrees off because that's the only seat I could get. Nice. I will try again to ask, is there some constraint on how many times a pilot uses ejection seat? And if so, does it mean they cannot fly sometime or forever in fighter jets? Historically, the answer is two. Two ejections, and you're not flying ejection seat aircraft anymore. But I think it's a case-by-case -case basis, and I'm sure modern medical science has changed that a little bit. Make them tell you no. See what Make I them tell that. you no. Uh... Mover, could you talk about your time flying the L-39? How that happened? Was it good for you? Uh, or what was it good for? Um, it was good for spending a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, knew a, I knew a guy who was given aerobatic lessons, and he also had an L-39. So when he would go like cross-country uh, and he had an open seat, he'd be like, hey, you want to come fly with me? And I'd be like, yes, I would. And that's what we did. Sweet. Ejection seat? seat? Ejection seat, right? Ejection seat. Yeah. Okay. I'd fly it. Why do y'all try to make BFM seem so complicated? Light the blower, pull 10 Gs, violate the hard deck, deck, rinse and repeat. If you do it once, you don't even have to repeat it. Yeah. Hey, guys. Why in Top Gun... 
Uh, we don't train with a full combat load either. That's not practical for the... I mean, at some point you do, but if you're not going to a range to actually drop the bomb, we don't typically do that. That's just nope. realistic. Too much. Too much can go wrong. Oh, boy. Here we go. Ooh. He's going to see Top Gun nice. Maverick in 15 minutes. Good for you. You'll enjoy it. Congrats on the accomplishment with the sheriff's office. Thank you. Took me long enough. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I don't think I've told you formally, but I think the guy we're still stuck on this one, dude. <laughs> like there's gonna be a whole short series. Hey, write on the, the book. Write the book write about the, the book. guy whose sinuses explode at yeah. the end of the runway when Walleye Wiser does a blue angel pass. Yeah. What's the forbidden word in the cockpit? There are none because I'm single seat. Yeah. Say whatever you want. Nobody's listening. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a great idea. That's really to take the hands off the controls. Uh, let's see here. Uh, monkey for the win. Thank goodness. I am way behind. Good Lord. You are. There's a lot of people. I think How many people are on this? 819 people mm -hmm. and the chat's popular. happening. I'm not expecting getting this. Instagram you, you, followers. Are you? Gram. I don't know. I haven't looked because I devote my attention to you and the people. Uh, and this has been exciting. You start a book club. We could buy a Spectre book each month, read it, and you could do a monthly live chat with us. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. The Navy I would do that, but it would be over after a month. So that'd be a useless book club. It'd be one month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna. You could be a member of it, but it's extremely expensive to get. I don't think <laughs> I can go back to the Navy Reserve because of the kidney thing. I think that whole thing. Make them tell you now. My dad is teaching me how to fly this weekend. Just starting off with learning the controls, not actually taking off. Awesome. Nice. Love that. Wiggle your fingers and toes. That's the best piece of advice I give a new pilot. Why? I don't understand the context of this comment. I've seen this a lot from the angry people that say, Tom Cruise is a pilot, therefore, no. Not Mike's therefore. not angry. He's not angry. He's not trying. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying Mike's angry. I'm saying from the other people. Yeah. They get mad at me because they're like, Tom Cruise is a pilot. That's great. I think that's awesome. I think his P-51 is awesome. Yeah. I, don't, I would love to fly his P-51. Would you fly in the back seat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I probably would too. That'd be pretty dope. That'd be pretty dope. Can Iceman is a four star save Maverick? Yes. It's of called course a Of course he can. It's, it's a, called a C Was he a four star or was he a three star? I Maybe think he was, was a four star. A CNAF or something. I don't know. Yeah. He could do whatever he wants to. <laughs> yeah. He is the king of the Navy, so we have made him. There you go, Wombat. Greg would like a context. Somebody just asked me this on Facebook or Instagram too. I'm like, I don't know. I was never one to count. I'd have to literally go in my logbook and count them up. I just was happy that none of them killed me. There were no other characters in Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> That's yeah. This guy sounds interesting. I have an I-95 thousand hour patch from my time at Indian Springs. Hey, are you an interesting person? Email me. Let's interview you. Are you interesting? I have flown alert. That is yes. not just an Eagle Guy thing. We did it on the ship. Alert fives. Those are awesome. Uh, yes, and I've crashed it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. I, not the it's not make you taller. Itself. Yeah, well, maybe <laughs> ejecting. Like once you eject. I think a lot. Uh, so it's interesting because that's uh, not to give away too much, but that was the research I was doing prior to coming on here. I think that was more true in the older seats because it was a like you get it all right now. You know what I mean? Like the Tomcat seats, the F4 seats, all those. It was right. It was just one big hit. T38 was that way too, right? It was just one hit and you were out. Right. Whereas with advanced fighters now, it's it's a phased. It's not as bad. Know. That's so. So I, I think what you're talking about, Mike, is actually a real thing in the past. 
I mean, it, it, again, it's not going to make you taller. That's for sure. It's probably not going to feel great. Yeah. But I've lost. I've lost the chat. The mayor's lost control here. Oh man. There's I'm just so many good like, questions. This is exactly what happens. I just. I've lost it. I've lost it. I don't have a producer, Douglas. Help. Uh, I do have my tailwheel endorsement. However, the DOD does not endorse this. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to get it, but I don't. Have yeah, it. I've got my tailwheel. I did it in a Pitts S2. So apparently Wombat is paying attention to the combats, comments, but me? I'm just waiting so you for, for, it's because I'm, I care about me. I'm just waiting for all the ones. Which that, was harder to land, E2 or Hornet? This is obviously for you because I would E2. say. E2, hands down. Is is just it's a conventional plane, P factor, four tails, three rudders. It's right up there. Harder plane to land. Simple. Have you heard of this country, Wombat? No. Not saying it's made up. I'm just saying. No, I'm not exactly what you call a worldly person. So, if they didn't have a port call that I went into, I probably didn't see it. Bombat, did you prefer flying in a crewed aircraft with other folks or by yourself? That's a really cool career path. Um, they had both had pros and cons. Um, I'm really happy that I got to do the crew thing early because I think it helped mature me, believe it or not. Um, the uh, And I think it taught me a lot of lessons, how to work with people that you may or may not see eye to eye with, how to get people on board when you have to go in for the big win, so to speak. Uh, but it was also really cool to fly an airplane where 100% of what you did was on you, period. There was no, well, this did this, or well, we screwed this up because so-and-so did. It was like, nope, that was you. You owned it. You either succeeded or failed. So it was really cool yeah. to see both. And I take that now with me in my civilian flying. Um, yeah, but on the flip side, when you're a single seat, you're just a single seat in that jet. You're part yeah, of you have a you, you do have a team, but it's different. I mean, you know that it's different than when you're sitting physically next to somebody. Then, you know, you, like you said, it's you have that solitude to be able to just say what you want. <laughs> Nobody can hear you. <laughs> it's awesome. This chat is the Dungeons and Dragons tournament. Kate is the hot one. <laughs> Uh, oh man, never again. Kate's gone forever. Uh, do you like the center uh, stick or the side stick better when flying? It depends. If you're pulling a lot of G's, the side stick is awesome. You know, I mean, I could imagine that. I guess it's, not it's having flown better. a side seat, side stick the, fighter, but flying side stick now, I could see how that would be. Once you're, once problem, you're comfortable. Well, the it. problem with the the side stick is, well, at least at nine G's, the bones start to push together, mm. and that hurts a lot. So, I have a question for you. So, currently, right, flying the Airbus, the the armrest is critical right? To fly the plane smooth. Like, is that the, is there an armrest in the Viper? There's two, are you, of, them. There's are two you, of them, but you're made fun of if you use the first one. So there's, okay. there's one in the back that you put your elbow-ish on, and then there's okay. one for your wrist. Okay. Nobody uses the wrist one. And nobody uses one. the you'll wrist be made one. Fun of. Nobody, you'll be made fun of if you use the wrist one. Do they just go out of the way? How's that work? Yeah, they just slip out. They oh, just okay. move over. That's interesting. Yeah. Are they fully adjustable to get it like exactly where you need it or no? Uh, not fully adjustable, but they're adjustable. Okay. Oh my God. Keep uh, going, man. Keep it going. This is doing great. We've been this here too getting... long. First of all, Corvette's no. doing great. 4,500 miles on it, I think is what I just said. Do you really? God, I got to go take my car for a drive. Yikes. Uh, I would buy a Porsche. Porsche. GT, GT, GT something. Three or two. Not a Holy four. crap. I'm so far behind. Hey guys, any advice for a kid starting ROTC in 6.9 <laughs> weeks? You're already on the right channel. You're there, fine. dude. <laughs> just don't just keep here, doing what just, you're doing. Just do me a favor. Don't do that at ROTC. No, don't do like, that at ROTC. <laughs> don't do that at ROTC. Because it's cool. That There's joke a time and place. 20 years ago in ROTC. <laughs> well, yeah. It, it No, not never at ROTC because you're not I there yet. Care. You're not that guy. Yeah. You can do it like. As you're as a budding like T thirty eight student, 
but you really shouldn't be doing it before you're in the fighter community. It just it doesn't because you'll get some hater that's not going to have a sense of humor. It's true. It's just not going to work out very well for you. So just don't do that. But my advice, don't be a douche. Help your bros. Study. Yeah, volunteer. And, you know, be humble. Humble, credible, and approachable. That's it. That's it. What do you got? We, that's it. I wanted to talk about cars more. Like, what should I buy next? Somebody what asked. Should I get a well, motorcycle? So, somebody asked if I pull over Mustangs. I'm not worried about that because I don't drive them. You drive the biggest Mustang I've ever seen. Well, Thank you. Kate says this is the first time joining. <laughs> and the last. And the last. <laughs> Are there any fitness requirements? Yes, you have to pass a PT test, but you don't do push-ups every time you screw up because we only do push-ups about once a year. Stop. Stop. Stop, Stop what? spoiling stuff. Spoiling what? Did I say what that was associated with? I just the said we don't knew. do push-ups except for people the one. Knew. If they knew, they've seen it already. Mm. Moving on. Yeah, let's see if we can. Oh, God. There are varying levels of fitness. Right. There's nothing wrong with chicks. Mustangs pull themselves over into crowds. <laughs> Have you hit a crowd with yours yet? No, no. I got to. I got to break it in first. You, there's a limiter, crowd yeah, you limiter. You haven't even hit a thousand so. miles out of. 10 I've hit a thousand had miles. On it. So. Get a TRX wombat. Be a man. Uh, not a big ram fan. This is a good point too. Don't point with your elbows at the college cal cafeteria. In fact, you know what? Don't ever point with your elbows because that one's a stupid trend that I never really got fully on board with. I don't even know what you're talking about. So. In certain communities, you can't point because you're only supposed to point at something you want to kill. So dude, the Air Force is so bizarre. That is so yeah. Air Force, dude. Yeah. So they're like, "Hey, it's wombat, and it's mover," and it's uh, like that's how people talk. And you're like, "You had me at no, no, we're not doing that." I would have never survived in the Air Force ever, ever. That's what I keep telling Wombat. What about a McLaren 720? Uh, I don't have a lot of McLaren dealerships around me. Like, there's just not a plethora of McLarens. They are nice, though. Told you. What did I say? I said that's not a spoiler. Okay. Bam. I... Not a spoiler. Why are we ganging up on me? <sighs> when are you hitting the track? So, I need to buy a race car. Yeah, you do. Because the, the vet is too much of a collector car now and i'm gonna feel really sad if i ball it up so i just need a All dedicated right, race car no i need something that i can wear my racing suit in because i bought a sparco racing suit I'm pretty but sure i can't can wear, wear it that in there. i mean no it's got to be blue you could wear it in your police car if you want what's up gentlemen hey mover can you up <laughs> did he pay you to say yes, that Joe. did he Joe's pay you to say that Joe's oh man, man. Wombat, have you installed the car show crowd detector? Must have. You can't put it on until you pass the limit, right? You got that it's limited. I've driven one and they are awesome. They are just not my style. Wombat, buy a Nissan GTR. Oh, and move have, Tomcats. I had a student in Meridian who had a Nissan GTR, believe it or not, and he let me drive. I was like, really? I'm like, aren't these expensive? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, was it a foreign exchange student? Because those no. are all, they always drive the rich. No. Store. No, just poor decision making financially. <laughs> it was a fun car to drive. interest. Yeah, something like that. So, I am a pilot, and I could fly to one, but it would have to be worked on eventually. That's a good question. I owned a, de a, a Daewoo in college. You're a Daewoo. Um, Remember that's the Daewoo? All? I do. No, it wasn't a Daewoo. What was it? It was a Mitsubishi Lancer. Sorry. My buddy had the Daewoo. Wow, you don't even remember I, what car you had in college. I don't. Well, I've had so many. Um, but no, I had a had a Mitsubishi Lancer. Have you? Because, I mean, look who you're talking to when you say that you've had so many. Dude, it'd I mean, be close. It'd be close. Dude, I mean, I think we're, we're, think we're neck I think neck I'm on currently that. on the longest streak of cars that I've owned for a single amount of time. Right, right it's now. time to get rid of the old uh, Hellcat, though. That's the one thing I know it for was sure. It's time to get rid of that before you bought it. But whatever. That's what happens when you listen to Gonky. 
Yeah, well, Gonky, here you go. Jordan says, buy a Ferrari with a track package. Jordan obviously thinks we make a lot more. Well, you're basically a movie star because you're on the internet, right? Isn't that? Everything on the internet is true. Well, it depends mm -hmm. on how you ask. I also agree that you should buy a Ferrari with a track package. Uh, hey, Mover, I've always wondered what the... So that's from a Mover mailbag because I took my car to the track a couple times and 69 is obviously a fighter pilot-ish number. Is it? Not, apparently not, not to me. You should own a racing team. Uh, it's Deputy Lamont and it's Lawman Lamont, sir, ma'am. What's the difference between a deputy and an officer? Deputies are sheriff. Officers are for metropolitan areas. I do not do metropolitan areas. I'm sorry. I, I asked I'm a simple a question. Man. I'm a lawman. Listen, you just think about the Walker, Texas Ranger theme, and that's me. Because the eyes Except of Lamont are behind you, upon you. Except in Louisiana. The reason Wombat was late today was because he was taking pictures of his Mustang as garage floors to update the stream picture. <laughs> uh, I love I the people that comment because they are so fun. Used M3? No. I drove, what about a used uh, M2? That's the thing you're getting. No, I don't think I'm buying it. But There you go. See, this is the right answer. ZL11LE. Can you get one of those? No. Then it's not the uh, right Well, answer. I was offered to order one, but some things need to come together first before I can do that. Okay. Like on the deal side or... Yeah, all the all the wombat. Do any fighter jets go to autopilot when they sense the pilot has passed out from? Why are you asking wombat? I'm a fighter pilot, bro. Come on. None that I flew. The Viper does. I think the Raptor does. The Super Hornet doesn't. The Super Hornet doesn't. Auto GCAS uh, is what it's no. called. It's auto. -GCAS. I mean, it might now. They may have updated that. Um. Root beer's got the right idea. That's also that's not. Bad. I want. I, like I look. I want uh, Rick Hendrick. Hendrick Motorsports was selling like their last gen NASCAR road road race equipped. I want one of those, except they're three hundred thousand dollars. That's the kind of the. Mm, that's where they always get you. The Call tent. for price. That's the long pole in the tent. Yeah. <laughs> Call I can't for price. Really, you never want to know that. what the price so is. So I I wanted to email him and be like, hey, you guys exchange some. Channel advertising and let me borrow it for a little while. Yeah. Maybe 11 books signed. I don't know. Something. Yeah, yeah. Is there some <laughs> exchange of services we could do in I'll lieu of this out. money? I'll give you a shout out. Yeah. I'll uh, put your name on the car. It was that right around Nola Motorsports Park. I'm sure that would help him out a lot. Uh, currently in a jet trying to decide between Hornet and the Growler. Hornet. 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 Wait. Hor listen. No, Hornet. I'm still with Hornet. Right here. Look at me. Yeah. Hornet. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hornet. Hornet. No, Hornet. I could see it would be tough, though, because I don't know how old he is. Wait, what? Well, hear me out. Hear me. No, not Dude. you. Him. Sorry, go ahead. You go okay. ahead and do it. But this. this I could see how that I... decision would be tough, and here's why. The Wigby Island would be okay. a cool place to live. They got great low levels. It's a cool place as far as Navy bases go. It would be tough. And that was one of the things we heard um, a lot in. Are you okay? Are you having another stroke? We heard this a lot in Meridian where guys were like, I don't know, Growlers or Hornets. Holy crap. Do you? Hold on, dude. You got to see this. Oh, boy. So Sorry, I, I can understand up. it. I still say go with the Hornet. Yeah, you took Finally. way too long to get to that point. I was trying to keep people engaged while you're looking at yourself on the Internet. Hey, look at this. That's why you have me on. Hold on. Comic relief. Stop yourself. Check that. I have an IMDb page. Wow. You should put a picture. Known for. Director. I have a, I'm a director and writer. So when people keep saying, mover, show wow. me your movie. I've done documentaries in 2016. What the hell was I doing in 2016? Can you click on it? Do you want to click on it? <laughs> I'm afraid. Is it pornography? Yeah, it might be. I'm me and me and Rick Abel are the stars of some documentary from 2016. What? What? 
Look at me that's being hilarious. famous. Guarantee let's, you won't find me on there. That's for sure. <laughs> well, let's look. Dude, yeah, I promise Matsu. you. I promise you. There's an April Matson. Oh, Audrey Matson, Matt Matson, Jill Matson. No Jill Matson Sackoff. I wonder if she's related to Katie Sackoff. I don't know. Hey, one mover and wombat. Since, oh, spoiler alert. Yeah, that's a spoiler. But a $20 spoiler, so worth it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nothing if not a man of means. Um, <laughs> I like money. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Razor, I agree with you. Uh, Jordan? False. Who's got a race team? Look at that. No, you don't. Team. You have a picture of I got a race a team. I have a... Well, do you, you have a toilet in the back corner of your room. You don't it's have not any a toilet. Kind of it's apparently a highly expensive seat yeah, that I got. Toilet for old people. Probably is worth more than your race team. Aren't those like three hundred thousand dollars? The shoes? No, the shoes. Look are at that man's shoes. Yeah. I want those yeah. shoes. Are blue? I bet you you could probably afford them. What aren't Porsche GT2 RSs like three hundred grand? That's probably a little out. No of idea. It. I'd have to ask Mama. No for idea. That. Hold on. Now we go. Oh, Ooh. sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend. I've offended a lot of people in my day, so I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, dude, I've got an IMDB page. That's where we're at right now in life. How you like that? Uh, dude, I'm proud of you. Say? Yeah. Now, this is why people think you're rich. That's true. <laughs> I'm a director... And what else does it have me doing? It had me doing a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, that's why. I, I, that's I am a whole series. I am not just the director. I have, C.W. Lemoyne is a director and writer known for C.W. Lemoyne. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that again. I'm known for... It's, it's a little bit... I even have an agent, a publicist, and a legal... Who are, are these people? All, are, are they all C.W. LeMoyne? <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look, look. 2021 was a really good year for me. I reacted to things. It was. I did a felon. I mean, I did all these things. I was. I appeared as myself. Who updates this? Is this like Wikipedia? Hey, yes. <laughs> An old race car for two months worth of helicopter flights? Wait, is it every day? I got to do Doesn't the math matter. on that. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I'd do that. I'd do that Worth for it. sure. That I'm Mr. Stripper Horror. <laughs> <laughs> His picture is perfect for the comment. Stripple Horror. Stripple for. <laughs> Listen, dude, I, I'm so flummoxed to myself. That's true. There you go. That's what it is. Your lives have now crossed. <laughs> uh, no, there is. I tried to change. There is a Wikipedia. Have you seen the Wikipedia page, too? I have. I have. I don't think I have a Wikipedia page either, which is awesome. I don't have anything. I'm in. Uh, I have a Wikipedia, but it, I, not only did I not write it, but I can't change it because I tried to change a whole bunch of stuff and, and add funny facts, and it all got rejected. I even tried to change my birthday in there, and it said no. They changed <laughs> it right back. <laughs> uh... The Top Gun to Days of Thunder Pipeline. That's right. I'm doing the reverse Tom Cruise. That sounds like something you'd read on Urban Dictionary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want that move. That move doesn't end well. He's a sheriff's deputy. He ain't rich. No, I, not only am I a sheriff's deputy, but I'm the you're kind that doesn't get paid. Yeah, yeah. Even worse. I don't get any money from, from even worse. deputizing the sheriffing. How's the book plate coming along, dude? It's not, and I need help with that. But I need help with that. Okay. I want to, I want to have an idea. So here's my, do you, did you ever do book plates? I don't even know what a book plate is. A book plate is for when somebody else, you would actually, this would be good for somebody. So somebody wants your signed book, right? We've talked about this. And I, I asked you, I'm like, how do you deal with that? And you're like, well, they could buy it for me. I sign it, send it, yeah, or yes. they send me their book, which is a pain. A book plate is basically a sticker that you sign that they can then put in their book. Yeah, and I have a cool design and all that, but it's really expensive. So, TR is uh, Trinolonus Rosamomus. and middle name. How about that? Uh, Wombat, you're not a nobody, you're a legend. Thanks, Martin. 
Hey, Mover, I watched an MIT open course video today, and it was about the F-22. The pilot was explaining that the F-22 is really easy to fly, and he said that the pilot was one of the weaknesses. Is this true? Probably. The pilot's probably one of the always weaknesses, yeah. I guess. On a good fighter, the pilot should be the weakest link. That's why we train so hard. What's the coolest place you ever flew over? Where would you love to fly that you've never been? Saipan was the coolest place I ever flew over. That was that was really cool. And Guam. Where would you love to fly? We've never been. Have you, I'm sure you have. You've done this. Have you ever done the? Uh, is it, I think it's called the River Visual at LaGuardia, where you where you fly around the city. I don't think it's a. It's not called that. It's. I know what you're it's, talking because you start I out at the Statue it. of Liberty and you fly yeah. up the Hudson. Mm -hmm. You go around the World Trade Center. You come back around. Then you. Get, yeah. I don't know what yeah. that's called, but I did that at sunset, mm -hmm. and I was the pilot monitoring. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the coolest things. PM. I took a plane off out of LaGuardia and went to JFK or JFK to LaGuardia, same deal. And um, either way, but yeah, I flew that route and it is pretty awesome. Especially growing up in that area, that was pretty cool to do. The yeah. river visual, I believe, is DC. Yeah, you're right. So, you're right. Which is yeah, also I, super cool. Yeah. So. Hi. Right. You're killing uh, you have a perfectly good one that you can release, can't you? But you haven't done the two on it yet. I can't release it. It's still in copyright, Joe. I thought when you sent it to me. No, it's it was unblocked, but it's not like I can't do anything except share it with you unlisted. Oh. It's, it's still in copyright, Joe. You got me all excited. Hey, thanks, Joe. I need to write. I need to stop doing this and start writing more. No, you need to do both. Oh, because I've got all that time. I don't know. I might. When I go back, I might. For sure. I think you would do great at that. 787? I want you to do it just because I can't do it. Why can't you do it? You're more senior than I am. We don't have 787s. Really? No. I thought y'all did. Y'all have the 350, hmm. which is better, right? I don't know. I haven't flown it. I've flown the sim. It's pretty cool. Uh, the problem with doing more Movie Ruins movies, back to that other question, is people get triggered a lot. Yeah, which is why there's so much fun to do. <laughs> no one has ever said this in my entire life. Nor Apparently should James has said it there. <laughs> people now are saying I look like that dude, um, Hangman. Sure, I guess. Probably because I'm mean. Yeah, that's, Listen, that's nothing to do I, with him. I'm going to change Mover's Wikipedia page. So it says, I tried that. I literally went in there and I was like, it stands for Cornwallis Wilbur. And they rejected my change. That's hilarious. That's and hilarious. I'm like, but it's me. It's like, it's literally, me. I'm telling you. Yeah. And they're like, no, no, you're lying. Um, That's funny, dude. Uh, Chiba, just keep trying going until you can afford a Porsche. All right, yes, yeah. let's do it. Fine. No, let's shut it down. No, let's oh. shut it down. This, that's that's thing. You know, we already ran off the women, and she's still here. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Tom Cruise wishes he had. Uh, oh, I'm sure he does. Hundred percent. I wish I had Tom Cruise's money. Yes. And and you could have a mutual relationship there. Of course he yeah. does. And that's what I think makes him cool about it is like he respects that. The the flying and all that. That's why he wanted to make it look as real as possible. So if plus, I he knew a byproduct to... was he was going to get some really cool flights. See, like for me, if I were ever to be an actor, I would do stuff that I can't do in real life. Like I wouldn't want to be an actor for a fighter jet show. I'd want to be like for something else, cop show or something. You do that as well. Listen, there's not a lot of stuff I don't do, so it's very hard to pick. But I wouldn't want to. You do could go on one of those dating shows. There you go. No, we're not doing that. Okay. It'd make Gonky you more doesn't type have a and lovable. Did y'all search for Gonky? I mean, if you just put Gonky <laughs> in IMDb, <laughs> <laughs> nothing came up. Did you, mm. did you did you actually search for his name, or because I'm sure Mover doesn't show up. <laughs> Michael uh, wants me to strip. Only fans. Yeah. Dancing with the mover. Okay, mm -hmm. listen, we've reached the <laughs> This has gone end. off the rails now. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> so stay tuned. Here's what we're working on. I'm going to do a very somber and 
serious uh, breakdown of the AIB for the T-38. That's coming up probably next week. Um, you and I, on Monday, we're going to film it. We're going to do a spoiler review of Top Gun Maverick after I've seen it again. Is that in my calendar? And, yeah, it is. And then uh, Tuesday, I'm interviewing Oregon Hammonds, who was the F-5 pilot in Top Gun. Dude, this guy has flown Tomcats, A-4s, F-5s, A-7s. Did I say F-4s already? F-18s. If the Navy has it, he's probably flown it. Awesome dude. Louisiana boy like it? myself. Uh, Rick Hammonds, Oregon. Really, really awesome. Um, and then um, I've got the helicopter thing where I went and flew over my sheriff's buddies, and it's a very short video. It's just I went and did a flyover and waved at them. And cool. um, that's it. That's all, That's what's coming up next. So you got that's a me. lot of work you got. I do. Yeah. I got nothing, man. Um, I got to go train. Go learn learn how to train. Okay. Well, good luck. Uh, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Remember, uh, use the 20% off thing in the description. Go check out that T-Flight. It's really cool. Uh, I will have... So for the next mover mailbag, I will have a plan on how we can give away that stuff and raise some money for Folds of Honor. I'm going to email them right now. And, uh, yeah, stay safe. Enjoy your life. We'll see you on the next one. Be a good person. Be yeah, a good don't person. be a douche. Be nice. Just if you don't agree nice. with somebody, if you don't agree with somebody, just, eh. Walk away. Yeah. Walk away. All right. Now imagine you're holding coffee. Remember that? Remember that? Oh, I, I, I can't. I need to cut that clip because it's supposed to be the straight to jail. Right to jail, mm -hmm. right away. Oh, anyway. All right. See you guys. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.